Welcome back to Kabaki Videos with, um, with, say your name, sweetie. Uh, Addie. Addie. Addie's going to tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us your, how old you are, Addie. 31. 31. How long have you been addicted? Since I was 25. Since I was 25. So you got a short time out here. You got any children, Addie? No. No? no. Uh, do you have a significant other or a boyfriend? Well, my boyfriend passed away last Christmas. Could you talk about that? Tell us about that. Yeah, so he he was out here for about 20 years, and he was born in, in New Jersey, and then he grew up in Puerto Rico, and when he was 14, he, um, I think his sister went into the army, and he was kind of all alone, and he, you know, went out into the streets, and um, I guess a couple girls brought him on trips and he ended up in New York and then he got in trouble in New York and ended up in prison up there. He was in prison in Puerto Rico. Probably, he's probably in prison for half his life. Okay. And he was so how to be, did you meet him? Um, my one of my dealers would send him to my car and one day he he said there's too many police around so he put it in his mouth and he said you gotta kiss me like, to get this, this drug. Okay. <laughs> So um, that's okay, the beginning But he actually didn't really, he just never pressured me for a very long time. For, it took him like, like, we didn't actually, we were friends for about a month. But he would wake me up every morning at like four in the morning, every day, and would make sure I wasn't sick from the drugs or anything. So, so you kind of miss him, because that was a, that was like a... a yeah, a, we were a, together, a, we were, see, I've been out here since uh, 2017, so... Mm. Um, so we basically were together the whole time that I was out here. Okay, so I can understand that. I, I get yeah. it. So what would, what could the Commonwealth do for you, per se, to help you? get what? I know well, you say you've been out. From what your experience is, what could they do for, for the homeless to help them? From, 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 from starting from the beginning, what the first thing, to, you know, go step by step, what you think that would help? Well, I mean, they, they've done a good job with the housing. I think they're working on that. They've offered some stuff. Um, they actually, I'm, I'm finally getting, finally, even though I've been out here for years, some people who've only been out here for like a couple months, they're getting housing before I've gotten housing. So the unfairness, there's a lot of unfairness yeah. going on, you feel? Yeah. Okay. And I don't think... Um, you know, people get really stuck out in the streets, and I think they need more people out in the streets to really help push people to to get off the streets. Oh, more. okay. So you say put people like out outreach. more, yeah, like more yeah. outreach people to come out. Basically, like myself and ask you guys. I'm not a, a counselor or anything, but right. ask you guys but, yeah. what's going on and like uh, keep up with it. You know, like because people, even if they get some people started, I mean they. People are still on drugs and they get caught up, you know. Yeah. And so they, stay in contact. In right, other words, right. don't get, don't help me and then leave me. Right. So help me and carry me until I'm able to carry myself. Exactly. So that's what's lacking in in, so. in the treatments. Okay. Okay. Oh, that that makes sense. I think that's part of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So with that being said, uh, how do you? Where do you live right now? You just where do you stay? Are you going from house to house or? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I stay at hotels or at my friends houses but for the most part i'm on the streets like, okay so what's i've never stayed in a shelter so. okay what's your hustle if you don't mind me um, asking uh, entertainment that's what i okay. call it <laughs> okay good. okay girl i like that entertainment okay on your entertainment how much entertainment do you make out here a day um person well i have a pretty bad habit unfortunately um but so Oh, could know. you collaborate on what the habit is? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I use um, heroin or fentanyl and um, cocaine or crack. Ooh, so, yeah, that's so a I double whammy. So, I mix them whammy. together, yeah, because, you know, Tell the people good. what that's called. A speedball. Okay. And okay. I guess they call, um, goofball would be, like, methamphetamine and, and oh. heroin. That's okay. what they call that. Okay, cool. But, um, so, yeah, so... I would say probably I ha I have to spend at least like two fifty and up a okay. day. Okay, two fifty. Yeah, that's a, that's that's quite a bit. That's yeah. quite a bit. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> and dang. Yeah. Um, so 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 that's a pretty. From what I understand, that's a pretty hard thing to kick. Am I right? Yeah. So you would hurt really bad. Yeah, I mean, get the, I've been when I was arrested and I was in jail for a little while. 
I mean, I was sick. That's another problem is that when you're in jail, they've started programs to like help give people, you know, Suboxone or Subutex, you know, while they're in jail. But um, because it's really hard when you're in jail, you, you have absolutely yeah, nothing so, and no treatment. Yeah, you could die, right? Couldn't, couldn't you die? Some, that yeah, way? some people have seizures and stuff. Yeah. Oh my God! So you hear that? People, Kabaki videos. They put, they put the, they put. They've poor started. In yeah, they've started to to help some people, but like, I was so sick that I couldn't tell the nurses that that what you needed. Right. Like I was like. Um, I don't know, I didn't even eat for like four days, I think. I was just like sick, puking on the floor. I had it all in my hair. Oh my God. Yeah, like eventually, like four days later, the nurse had to like hold me in the shower. But, you know, so you would think that they would give me something when I'm that sick, but. They just left you. Right. Basically. The first time I was there, I was able to tell them my withdrawal symptoms. But the second time, I, I was so sick, I couldn't and I didn't get anything that people sometimes we need to ask these people they're human too that's what people forget addicts are human too look at her she's a beautiful girl she just got caught up we all make mistakes and get caught up yeah. people need to remember that and luckily for me i have a very supportive family and a lot of people don't so mm. Mm. you know mm -hmm. back at kabaki videos we have just a couple more questions for um kaya before she go have you ever this is a question that I've asked some of the other girls. Have you ever been, uh, they promised you you've been out entertaining and they didn't give you what you asked for? Um, yeah, it's happened before, you know, they... And what do you people do? People, they say that, the, I mean, there's not much you can do. Um, I know that some girls, you know, they'll fight the person and try to get their money. I mean, um, but I mean, it goes both ways. Like somebody, I know there's a guy I know and a girl stole his wallet and stole his phone and... Oh, so she got them all. Oh, so it so goes it's a give ways. and take out here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard out here. It's not easy. This is probably one of the hardest places, I would say, you know? I mean, people get stabbed almost every day. You mm -hmm. see it in the middle of the street, people get stabbed. You know? This is the stuff the the videos of the day. you'll see on the news. Yeah, I mean... Like they're running the street in the middle of traffic and there's somebody getting stabbed. Yeah. She, how many times have you OD? I've never overdosed, luckily. But you from that, have you seen people around who had? I mean, yeah. One of my friends, she said that she was, they were on Melnia Cass on the highway and people, there were a lot of people getting, using over there. And um, uh, there was a guy, he had a blanket over him. And then he was there for like, I don't know, she said like four hours. Nobody checked on him. And eventually they found out he was dead. And he was just sitting there dead next to him for hours. He must have oh OD'd. My God. You know, like people need to check on people more. Okay, well, Kai, Kai, thank you so much for your time. And you have a stress-free, blessed day. Can we use this footage and put it on Kabaki videos? Is yeah, that of course. Okay. Um, okay. And thank I can you. give you some of the other footage that... Okay, I'll well, give you my contact information. Okay, thank you.